Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Capricorns. And this is just a little weekend check-in for the 17th and 18th of June. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using the classical or the classic tarot. So, let's see what messages we have for you. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, Capricorn, let's see. So Capricorn, this is for you. The Queen of Wands, this could be an energy in your environment. Or maybe you, your self-esteem and your courage, you know, has been boosted a little bit here. Although I don't think it need boosting. So this energy could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius in your environment. Then you have the Hierophant. Someone wants to lay the law down for you not so long ago. They wanted to like tell you what to do. And the Six of Cups, you just didn't let it bother you. You were like, oh well. And the Queen of Cups, this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Pisces. A Scorpio or a Cancer. Or you could be feeling a little emotional right now. Okay, maybe something upset you a little bit. If somebody was trying to lay down the law on me, I'd probably be upset too. But don't you worry. Things will get calm. You will move to calmer waters or things will calm down. And the Ten of Swords. This is something that ended painfully for you. And there's going to be a tower moment. What's going on, Capricorn? You're going to need to accept what changes are going to come, okay? And those changes are going to make you feel rejuvenated and renewed. All right? You're going to start doing some self-evaluation. I think you're going to deal with this Ten of Swords here, this painful ended that you experienced. And the Ten of Cups, you're going to be awaiting some kind of message. Maybe maybe some loving messages, some romantic message will come in or something. I don't know. We'll see. So let's see the Queen of Wands. Finding your courage. Standing up for yourself. Or energy in your environment. A Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. Might be a marriage too. Because I got the Hierophant next to that. So you see, there are a few ways you could look at the cards, you know. But let's keep going. So let's see the Queen of Wands here. Top of the Queen of Wands, we got the Page of Swords, which is new ideas for you. And then there's some kind of conflict. <laughs> there's some kind of conflict in your environment. So maybe you did find your um, find yourself and find your courage and speak up to yourself for yourself. So the page of wands, you're going to have some new ideas and somebody might be spying on you, looking at things that don't concern them. And it will might cause conflict, but your wishes will come true towards the, you know, regardless, your wishes, your wishes will come true. You'll have some kind of satisfaction, so don't you worry about it. So let's see the Hierophant here. 
Hierophant. On top of the Hierophant comes the Six of Swords, um, Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Emperor. Now, the Six of the Her the Six of Wands is you being victorious over whatever the situation was. And then the Queen of Cups, you could have been feeling sensitive at that time, or again, this could have been an energy, or this could be an energy in your environment. Uh, Pisces, a Scorpio, or Cancer. And then the Emperor. This is an um, energy in your environment that's quite father-like. They're like a father figure. They could be an Aries as well, because the Emperor, they're very stable. They have their own. They give you some advice. So it's not a romantic connection. It's just, it's a friend, like father-daughter figure, or father-son, whichever way. Okay. So then you're going to be relaxing, but you're going to be in your head. Wait. Mm. So on top of the Six of Cups, while well, you're going to be chilling, you're going to be in your head, you're going to have some kind of negative thoughts about something. You don't know what, because you know you Capricorns, your mind sometimes work over time. You got to get out of your head, okay? Now, there's going to be a little chaos and confusion, but this is past, Okay? going to be a sudden change it's going to seem a little chaotic but don't just just step back and just watch it happen okay there's nothing you can do about it change needs to happen in order for you to evolve and then there's the wheel of fortune so i say there's love and compassion and new feelings that are coming you need to use your intuition and that's good fortune for you whatever that collapses it's going to bring good fortune so then you got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups here. So let's see. It's going to make you a little emotional, maybe. And on top of that, you got the Judgment card. This is Rebirth. So something, a lot of times, the Tower, you got the Judgment card here. A lot of times, the Tower brings Rebirth. It makes you look at yourself, you know, do some self evaluation. Um, you might find you're in a calling and there's a new phase in your life. And then there's the King of Cups. I'm sorry, the, thing, the King of Wands. The King of Wands. Now, this could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius within your environment. They're a natural leader. Or maybe that's you. Natural leader. And you're overcoming your challenges. I like that one. And then the Five of Swords. Conflict. Now, remind, remember... Arguing doesn't solve anything. And for some reason, I don't think this is a love, anything to do with love. Um, it's just something in your environment that's causing some conflict. Some kind of disagreement. Okay? But you don't have to partake in it. You can step back and just let, it, let them argue with themselves. So the Six of Swords, everything will smooth and get smooth or calm. So we got the Six of Swords here. Top of the Six of Swords, we got the Ace of Wands, which is creative creative new beginnings. It could also mean be a time for fertility. So this might be time a time when you know you're pretty fertile. So just be aware. But this is some new project that you'll be working on. You'll have the urge to create. And the Page of Wands, you're gonna be waiting for something and you're gonna get some messages. Some new information and some messages. And it might be in regards to finances. Because this is the nine of the nine of pentacles. And you're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. But then you got the ten of swords here. Something ended. Now, a lot of times when I see this ten of swords here, I always think it's the past, you know. But some unified love, something, some partnership ended. Um... I would say it has to do with love, this ending. Um, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. This is unified love. There was some kind of ending. 
<sighs> and then there was the Knight of Pentacles. You're working hard on something, maybe. Um, um, to, for money, maybe you're working very hard. You're very productive. And you have a routine and you're very responsible. And then here's the lovers. So maybe the Ten of Swords here is painful and endings from the past. Because nothing up top here do I see that is it's anything bad where this relationship is concerned. Because at first I said it wasn't about love. But now I see the lovers here. And I have the Two of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the lovers. So... And that could be a Gemini in your environment. Maybe it's just something in your past that you need to deal with, you know? But it seems like everything is good here. There's unified love. There's hard work. And there's a lot of produ productivity. And then there's love in your environment. But then you're going to have a towel moment again, okay? But on top of this towel moment, now it could be that moment that, you know, just brought forward with you. Um, you're making progress where it's concerned. You're, you're planning. You're make, preparing things. You're longing for something, so you're longing for some kind of change. And the devil. So now this could be like some kind of unhealthy attachment. So maybe it is good there's going to be a towel moment that it will crumble down and maybe you are going through whatever this it means to you whatever energy this is around you in the sense of it could be obsession, jealousy, anger, um depression, um shadow work it could be addictions it could be so many things anything that 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 is unhealthy for you it could be abusive relationships so it seems that things are tumbling down because you're starting to address this devil and then there's the moon you're gonna have to do some soul searching and look within okay the moon got the devil there But you're preparing. You, you're prepared for this. You're going to take care of it. Because you got the judgment card here. Okay. So with the judgment card comes... I mean, three cards fell out. Comes rebirth. And with that comes the ten of pentacles. Which is um, wealth, financial security. Maybe some awesome unexpected income. You're going to... Then I got the six of ten of pentacles. Be having enough to take care of your family. Success, stability... Then you got the six of um, wands. You're going to be moving to calmer waters. And then the death card. The death card does not mean anything bad, okay? It just means the ending of something and the beginning of something new. The end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle for you. Okay? So, it's like releasing that old baggage. That stuff that was wearing you down. Letting it go. So on top of the Knight of, of Cups comes the Seven of the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Which is like betrayal. Like if you're expecting it. That's what you're looking for. Stop doing that to yourself. Okay, and then pay attention to your surroundings and the people in your environment. There might be a little trickery going on. Someone that you think you can trust that you can't. So you got the seven of swords here. You're going to have mental clarity about, I guess, who the person is going to be or what is going to be, whoever this is or whatever the situation is, you will have mental clarity. And then the knight of wands. You're going to have some inspired action. You're going to be fearless. Don't be too impulsive, though. Because you know how sometimes you can get in your head. And if you do that, then you might feel a little sad. Don't beat yourself up over the situation. Okay? Start making plans for the long term. You got the seven of pentacles here. Whatever seeds you planted, they were firm enough. Okay? You will have sustainable results. Life is a little up and down. The 
said, stop expecting or pay attention to those in your environment. And then maybe this won't happen. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Bye.